Central worker we talked to today told us he's nervous about riding to work on Rochester City buses. He told us sometimes riders are packed into the back of these buses, but he adds he has to get to work. Matia Collins spoke with that man today and shows us what it looks like on his ride to work. Here at the Rochester Transit Center, there are signs on the buses showcasing the new protocols in response to COVID-19. But for one worker that I talked to, an employee considered an essential service, he's worried about the safety during his commute. Sean Farrell relies on the bus to get to and from work every day. An employee at Strong Hospital, he is considered essential and risks losing his job if he can't make it. Since I've been catching, you know, the public transportation back and forth to work, I have been feeling a little uneasy. They have um, part of the bus, like like the middle of the bus, um, from the middle to the front of the bus blocked off, so you have no contact with the bus driver, and they have everyone else sitting in the back. These are pictures from Farrell's bus commute. He says some protocols put in place, like the yellow tape seen here to keep passengers away from the bus driver, could be putting passengers at risk. People are sneezing, they're coughing, and it's like, what can you do? You know, because it's not like you can run to another side of the bus because it's somebody there, or it's somebody on your left, or somebody on your right, or somebody in your front or your back. The Regional Transit Service has taken steps to prevent the spread of COVID-19, including cleaning and detailed disinfecting of the buses every day, the transit center is wiped down three times a day, and they are enforcing distancing between the driver and passengers. At this time, there has been no change in service. RTS has also temporarily waived bus fares, and the use of personal protective equipment is encouraged for both drivers and riders. So you'll see our employees with personal hand sanitizer wearing masks. We encourage all the riding public to follow Dr. Mendoza's guidelines and the county executive guidelines to wear a mask when in public. Farrell is hoping to get his car back soon, but for others in the community who rely on public transportation, he is hoping for a change. Just making sure that these buses now, from this point on, have hand sanitizers built on, you know, somewhere on the bus and, and fully refilled on an everyday basis. Now remember, leaders are saying to only take these bus trips to essential places such as the pharmacy or the grocery store, and to also use your own safety protocols to make sure you are protecting yourself and others. In Rochester, Tia Collins, News 8. Atia, thank you. Now, RTS has waived bus fares until further notice, and passengers must use the rear door on long buses to promote social distancing. Maureen?